What is up guys, gulls and minions, it is me, hey, wait a minute, I'm not moving you, I did not move it then minions, it's going on itself, <gasps> it has artificial intelligence, I think I'm lying, but still, we are playing some Ratchet and Clank Gladiator HD, it's pretty freaking awesome, and we must move, move on, uh, I, I'm supposed to be chasing these things, right, it seems they're getting really impatient, like, what the fudge are you doing, Proxy, get on with the video, fine, I will. But stop, we're getting so close to the end of the game, means only two more tournaments to do, and we are finished! This game's rather short! Wait a minute, can I actually hover on the, the weird, metallic-looking liquid? I don't know. Wait, wait, so I've got to chase these things as fast as possible, right? There they are, look. So, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So do I just have to just go behind them and shoot them? Oh! Oh, wait, wait, oh, they are actually speeding up, look! Get back on me! I'm not done with- oh, dear. I'm not done with you! Stop running away from me! Do I have any other weapons, or did I just have the dual plasma things? Oh, what if I do the opposite direction? Ah, I'm being clever here, minions. Yes, working against their psychological goal. Ah, you see, look, you don't miss that coming, did you, buddy? <laughs> right. Wait, 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 wait. So then if I do it again, it's got to take my time with it, minions. They don't know what's coming their way. The death, the doom. Yes, as you can see, look, minions, I'm actually doing it. Don't escape, no! Wait! I'm trying to make- oh, god damn it! I crashed into the wall again. <laughs> Wait a minute, can do this, can do this. There we go, it's got kite in minions. Clothesline it with the laser beams of death. And bang. Please shoot it in the button, minions, we'll have a bike. I thought you were working with me here. Maybe it's in cahoots with the- What are these things? A little drone beacon thing? I don't know. Still, keep shooting them. Catching up though, minions. Go try and do little shortcuts, I guess. Don't crash into the wall. Stop it. See? Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I can use my gravity boots there. There's little curvy bits. Might be able to. That's kind of intriguing. Wait, wait, wait. When we get a chance, I will go back there and see if we can climb up there with my gravity boots that I've just unlocked in the last video. Hmm, curious. Okay, this one's taking a little bit longer than expected. 7 out of 12 done, though, minions. Doing very well. Oh, there's another one. 8. Okay. Let's take our time. Keep the accuracy going. Actually, I'm doing really bad when it comes to the accuracy. My hover bike isn't even aiming towards them. It's just, like, chasing them. But it's actually... Oh my goodness, technology these days means you'd think it'd be so advanced that it would just do it itself, but no, it seems not. Did you? I've got two more to get, but they're just not giving up. They should realize that what they're doing is futile. Nearly dead. Come on, we can do this. Get 11. There we go. Excellent. Awesome. I demand the 12th. Come on, I'm proxy. Well, I say goes. You will. God damn it. <laughs> you will die. Got it. Yeah, we go. Not a scratch as well. Excellent. So that means that you can actually get damaged during that, but they weren't fighting back. Maybe you got, like, crash into those canisters or something, I don't know. But still, that took us... Five minutes, really? Oh, okay, yeah. Well, actually, theoretically, during the video, it took three minutes and 26 seconds. <laughs> but still. Okay, let's keep going. Team Darkstar has now arrived at the location of the getaway ship. But hey, ho, oh, there's nothing there. The ship is hidden. It could take days, even weeks of painstaking searching just to find it. Ratchet, if you activate the vector transmit. Wait, wait, can I use the hover bike? Ooh, I get to play around with the hover bike at the same time. Though it seems not to be doing much damage. So really, this is pointless. <laughs> Let's just use the scorpion flail. It seems to be the most bouncing thing to use right now. Look at that electricity shock damage. That's awesome. Okay. So ignore all those people for a second. Wait, 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 wait. I got a better idea. What if I use this to traverse? Yes, that might be a cool idea. Even though it's really weak, I could just do it this way. Look. Let's go to this. I think this might actually be a gravity boot, like, way to go. Wait, 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 wait. What happens if I go up? Ah, here you go. Means I am clever indeed. So what's this hiding? Maybe some potential hidden loot? You never know, minions. You'd think this actually break my back, because obviously the thing was, the, like, the flail is obviously kind of heavy, I assume. <gasps> oh! That's all it is. How much do I get? I get 4,000 bolts. Um, I guess. Okay. I can accept that. I can, I can accept that. I was expecting a little thing more, maybe. Do you, want, do you know one thing that's not in this game? Platinum bolts and gold bolts. Well, there are actually gold bolts, but, like, titanium bolts and stuff. Where have they gone? It seems this game doesn't have them, which is kind of unusual. I, I completely forgot about them until now. Yeah, just some more little hidden bolt boxes. So is that 10,000 bolts, really? About 8,000, I guess, which is pretty cool. So some money in the bag. Gotta love your money, money. Moolah. Mm. Okay. So we're going to go left first, I assume. Let's just take down these zombies. Did you please die? Ugh. wonder why there's, like, green sludge coming out of them. That's really disgusting. Someone should bathe. I've got some quack shampoo if you need it. 
<laughs> right, wait, wait, wait. Let's just skip past all these dudes. Okay, so we've got to climb up here somehow. How do I go about that? Up here, it seems. Okay, I'm sk Oh, wait, I just bashed into that dude. I didn't mean to. Okay, so let's smack this guy around. What happens if I actually get the hoverbike dead? Does that um, mean that I failed the mission? Ow, that kind of hurt. I think those turrets are really deadly. I think that's what actually killed me in the last thing. Whoa, wait a minute. Ow, that really hurt. I am nearly dead. I do not appreciate that. I'm getting barely any health back. Wait a second, what should I use here? I'm thinking we use... Dual Vipers, maybe? Okay, that's two. Jump. There we go, gonna have to use some acrobatics here, minions. Oh, one of my robot friends is down. Don't worry, buddy, I can bring you back to life. I can resuscitate you with the power of energy-based awesomeness. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Let's go back to the Scorpion Fall and then level up minions, which is really awesome. Version 8. Yeah, quick, do not let that turret hurt And slam! Whoa, sacrifice my own health just to take it down for humanity and alienality, whatever you'd call them. Oh, I'm not the go. That was close. Okay, seems you can put the shield link on you. Oh, wait a minute. No! Don't trust it. Don't trust it indeed. Wait, wait, wait. I need to do the shockwave quickly. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. That sucks. I don't like those things. They're a little bit mean. I'm thinking maybe the scorpion fall isn't very useful here. What do you think, minions? Okay, let's just stop these dudes before they use that turret. I really want to level up, though. I'm so close to leveling up the scorpion fall and my own armor, which is really awesome. So maybe 50 health in total, maybe? That'd be kind of cool. Wait, 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 let's just pwn all these dudes quickly. Right, right. So right here, we need to try and use the dual vipers, I'm thinking. Here we go. Just keep pwning them. Yeah. And then over here... Oh no, they really take down your scorpion, um, not scorpion friends, your robot friends really quickly, which sucks. So, could you please not shoot? Stop it! Stop it! I do not appreciate the ponage that you're putting onto me today. It's really mean, means you're not doing very well, it seems. Wait, let's go back to the magma cannon. So, robot friends, if you can activate the crank, it seems that me activating the crank is a really bad idea. Let's take these dudes down as fast as possible. Please. Thank you. Jeez, that took a while. Okay. So now, oh wait, we've got some enemies to fight. Scorpion Flow, maybe try and get that thing leveled up as fast as possible there. Come back here, I'm not done with you. Slap! Haha, <laughs> that was awesome. Right. Okay, we've got another enemy here, look. Ow! Wow, you guys do a lot of damage too, it seems. I thought you guys were noobs, but it seems not. Okay, let's continue onwards. So which one should we go to next? Wait, 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 I'm not going down there again. We need to destroy the turrets first. As you see, look, they have got some deadly beams of death, and I do not want to get pwned by them. So the game wants me to go left first, but maybe I want to go right, or maybe the one on the left is the fastest one to get to, do you think? Maybe it's the nearest. Mm, we'll give it a go, we'll give it a go, let's see what happens. Okay, thank you for smacking them all around, Flail, I'm really liking your ponage. Yeah, go on, so. Nearly leveled up, and there we go, means version 8, we get... We get a 100 power upgrade, which is pretty cool. Okay, stop those little balls of death trying to kill me. So we're gonna go over here, it seems. Wait a minute, what? Oh, no, wait a minute. Just trying to take these cockroach robots down as fast as possible. They do kind of look like cockroaches, though, don't you think? If they have, like, laser guns and robotic parts over their anatomy. I think so, either way. Okay, so let's take down these dudes as fast as possible. Ow! Okay, so I thought I was hidden behind that little bit of a barricade, but it seems not. Which is kind of unusual. Take that dude down, and then activate the crank. Could you shield the dude as well? I'll protect everybody, don't worry. There we go, awesome. And I think we've sorted out this next ball crank minions, which is awesome. Right, so now that we move that one out of the way, let's move over here and do the final one minions. Kind of want to rush now though, because I want to get past this area. It's a little bit of a boring one. And so I want to see what happens. Oh, here it is, look, minions. Oh, we nearly got our Ravager grenade as well. I love my Ravager grenade. Okay, wait a minute, so activate the ball crank then. Keep running, minions. Don't let those turrets hurt you. Shockwave. Ugh, nearly dead, nearly dead, nearly dead. Okay, so use the magma cannon. Always trust in the magma cannon minions. It's really awesome. That is a lot of enemies. And complete. Whew! That was close, I have to admit. Right, so what are we doing next? Slightly excited, I have to admit. And 9,000 volts. Pretty good. So that's where the ship was, under the statue. Well, I just lost 50 volts. Unfortunately for Ace's ego, Team Darkstar will have to blow up the statue to access the hangar underneath. What? Ooh, and then there's a hidden spaceship. Wait, 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 Clank, wait, wait, wait. So, didn't the news guy say that it would actually take us weeks, even months, to try and find this thing? And he's basically just told us where it is. So, is that kind of contradicting? It's kind of, if you think about it. Okay, I think Clank's done yapping away now. So, we need to go destroy... Where? So, we just gotta get that thing there, and then that's done, right? Wait, 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 wait. 
Let's take down these dudes first. Watch out for that turret though of death, it's firing green laser beams, and as you know, green laser beams mean deadliness. So if we recharge my friend over here, there we go. And then if we throw an EMP grenade, please. Thank you. Remember, Magma Cannon is really powerful against these things. When you shoot at the butt cheeks, obviously. Thank you for realizing my potential, even though I'm nearly dead. <laughs> right! We have... Wait a minute, what are we doing? So we're taking down the turrets. Oh, we're putting the C4s on. Okay, cool, I can do that. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Can I do it myself, or do my robot friends have to do it? Survey says... Nope, the robot friends have to do it. Okay, watch out for those spinny balls of death. It seems like we've got another turret over there, but I don't really want to fight it, minions. So, I'm thinking we just do these as quick as possible and then get the fudge- Ow! Ow! Okay, that really hurt. Okay, you've got a dropship, minions. Remember, these dudes like to dispense as much awesomeness as possible, so Arbiter, I'm thinking you'll be able to solve all of our worries. There we go, awesome. Got another one coming, minions, it seems. Be careful. Be vigilant. Oh boy. Right, one more C4 to place, and then I think we might be done, which is excellent. Ooh, got some health here, too. Robot, hurry up now, money. Quick. Oh wait, 14 seconds. Might need to get the fudge out of here. Running as fast as possible. Whoa. <laughs> Wanna watch the explosion, though? We've got nine seconds. I can chill there out for a second. Okay. Actually, I'm getting a little bit impatient. If you could just hurry up, that would be awesome. I've got a manicure of six. Thank this you. Absolutely unbelievable, folks. Ratchet has defeated the Torval Battle Course and escaped from the planet's surface aboard a space shuttle hidden inside the Ace Hard Light Memorial. Only on Dread Zone, folks. You can't make this stuff up. Yay! Okay, there we go. Almost into space. For a little rust bucket bin, I think, with an engine attached. Which is kind of unusual. Okay, cool. So that's that campaign complete. Gold medal as well, which means we can now move on to the tournament. I am excited. There we go. Ooh, Vindicator armor. I'm so cool. Ratchet, what? you have now qualified for the Vindicator tournament. You know, Captain Starshield holds the all-time scoring record for this tournament. We'll be fine, don't worry, I'm capable. Can I have some help? <laughs> but anyway, we've got one Dread Challenge to do, Minions. It seems that like this one's a little bit limiting, it seems. So that's kind of cool. So we can do this one in this video and then move onwards to get the Vindicator armor. Let's go do this, Shizzle. 20,000 points and six bolts. So it's a defensive mission. Okay, hopefully I can do this, Minions. It seems I don't get my robot friends to help me either. Uh, dear. Does this thing come with rockets? I'd kind of like some rockets. This thing doesn't come with rockets, minions. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Ow. Okay, that kind of hurt a little bit. Okay, should I take down the dropships? I'm thinking I focus on the dropships here, because they are sending out a lot of enemies, and that kind of sucks. Okay, they're coming this way, minions. Try and fend them off as soon as they get into range. There we go. Awesome. We're doing well, minions. Round two or four already, which is really good. I am really proud of us. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good, minions. I thought this might be a little harder than usual, like those Lost Delicious, like, on rail segments, but round three out of four already? Well, this is going really quickly. Surprised? Very surprised indeed. Hi there, spinning robo jellyfish things. I don't know why I call you jellyfish things, because you're not actually jelly at all. Okay, what's left? We've got a dropship here. Shoot it as fast as possible. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. We've got the cockroach things. Oh, dear. That's a lot of cockroaches. And you guys are out of there. It seems that their weakness is actually turrets, which is really cool. <sighs> we may have found their Achilles heel minions. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. Are we nearly done? I want to move on to the Vindicator. I'm so excited. I want to get the new armor, orange armor minions, which is really cool. I kind of like the color of orange. What's your favorite color, though? I'd love to know. Is this it after I kill this dropship? Are we done now? Nope. <laughs> seems we've got some dudes behind us, too. Okay, let's try and pull this dropship as soon as possible, because remember, it is going to be dispensing some enemies. And um, please, can I finish now? I'm getting a little bit bored. They're not dying, minions. They just keep coming. Oh, dear. And kaput. Awesome! There we go, minions. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I wonder what kind of like, challenges you can do on that one. I wonder if there's one for trying to keep a full health as much as possible. I can see I've been really hard, though, because it seems that like they put down a lot of pain onto your turret. So I don't know. But there we go, awesome. So, if I head back, we might we get like a cutscene maybe? That might be quite cool. Let's have a go. And you never know, there might be some hidden armor or something in the dispenser things or something for my robot friends. But if I complete the Vindicator turn, there might be some other stuff to buy after that. <gasps> cutscene! 
Last week, we saw the spectacular deaths of leading contestants Agent Bizarro, Plasma Woman, and Orange Comet. Now, the low seated Lombax, known as Ratchet, has surged to the top of the Dread Zone rankings. Frankly, I can't believe the little furball made it this far, Juanita. He is a scrappy sucker, huh, isn't he? He certainly is, Dallas. He's also a threat to children, endangered species, and common decency. Well, kids and dolphins and whatnot will be able to breathe a little easier once Ratchet has been cut down to size by the Eviscerator in this week's Exterminator Smackdown! No opponent has survived even 60 seconds against his razor-sharp titanium blades. Hmm, I'll bet he doesn't have any trouble getting a close shave, Juanita. <laughs> you get it? Shut up, Dallas. You're not that funny. Ha! <laughs> get told! Oh no, maybe she was talking to me, really, through the game. <laughs> so it seems we're fighting a bug warrior now, which is kind of awesome. Minions, is going to be challenging while I have fun. Well, <laughs> since you asked, I have 16 terabits of tri-directional asynchronous bandwidth on my core CPU. Ooh, that is a lot of throughput. Oh, uh, well, I... <clears throat> hey, Clank. I, I, I will call you right back. Who was that? Oh, uh, nobody, really. Was that the tech droid you were talking about? Hey, did you get those blueprints? Y yes Oh, yeah, you the man! Uh, but I have learned that many other heroes are imprisoned at this facility. We must help them, Ratchet. Well, sure, but how? I have noticed that the security monitors tend to go inactive when there is a big arena matchup. So if I fight one of the exterminators in the arena, it'll buy you some time, huh? It is dangerous, but it is the only way. No sweat. Those guys are toast. Ooh, some potential storyage! I love story! So maybe we get to play as Clank? Hmm, very intrigued, minions. Okay, let's go check out our store a second, see if we can upgrade some of my robot chums, and then we can move onwards with the adventure. So, oh, here we go. So we got the Beta Ravager. So what does this do? Uh, I was reading that. This master of the super weapons was specifically designed to be fired and controlled by combat bots. With its recoil reduced, combat bots will no longer misfire into the grandstands during dreads. Ooh, wow, so it's gonna be like complete in like intergalactic ponage and they'll never miss a shot. That's kind of cool. And then we finally have the Go Comet XR, which seems to upgrade their damage and armor. That's a lot of moolah to spend though. We've got some more armors to buy. A new head as well. No, I'm not really liking it. I still like the original head, I have to admit. Though I do like the dark black armor. Let's get the black armor. That sounds like really cool. Awesome. Okay. And then, I think we get these things too as well, because it obviously is going to help us in the battles ongoing, I think. So, spending lots of moolah. Oh, dear. Okay. So, if I now go... I don't care. As long as you figured out how to make freaking ham sandwiches, I'm still waiting. And it's like, what, 18 videos in? Jeez. What does it take to get a freaking lunch around here? So, any new weapon? What the fudge? That's the Harbinger. Okay. So I need two, two million volts. <laughs> How am I going to afford that? I don't know. Minions? Do you, you don't have some change lying around somewhere, do you? The Harbinger is Vox Industries' answer to the two biggest competitors, the Apocalypse. What's the Apocalator? I've never seen that before. I've never used it either, I don't think. And the Rhino. Shellshock says, these two guns... Wait, it's two guns in one? What? It's dual... You dual wield them? These two guns are like... Oh, wait, oh, he's talking about Rhino. Oh, okay, a sissies. The place in the sissy land. The Harbinger... The I just can't stop looking at it. It looks really sexy. It's got missiles and... Is that a laser turret in the middle? I, I, I kind of want that, Minions. Minions! Christmas is coming in, like, what? In 11 months? <laughs> you could get me that. That'd be awesome. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to afford that. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, Minions. Maybe if I do some of the harder challenges... Wait, 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 wait. If I do some of, like, the original levels on hard difficulty, should I say, then maybe we can unlock that? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, Minions, we're going to have to end this one here, then we'll move onwards to go get the Vindicator armor in the Vindicator tournament. Remember to destroy your though if you're not supposed to any giveaways, and definitely check out the Proxy Series page for more giveaways, competitions, and it's awesome, awesome updates. And I will see you guys, girls, and next time. Ciao.